Tirchandur is a great place. So quickly, can you share a few insights about the Subramanya Puja at Tirchandur? Yeah, we do the Palabhishekam there, that is the Milk Abhishekam, to the Shatru Samhara Subramanya Samhara Murti. So oh. where they're actually in Tirchandur, they have a main deity of uh, Subramanya so, Swami. Okay, and they also have a Udbhava Murti, like Swayambhu Udbhava Murti of Subramanya Swami, where he's actually Which is in the same. Yeah, it is in the same, same temple, in the same, uh, vis- in the same prakaram. Okay. Okay. And uh, the temple vicinity. Prakaram okay. is the temple vicinity. And there you have a Udbhava Murti, like a Swayambhu Murti, where uh, Subramani Swami vanquished Tarukasura. Okay. And the hmm. demon. So we do the Palabhashitam to the Samhara Murti. Okay. And this is very, very powerful because Subramanya in so, uh, Tirchandu has like, you know, his uh, Shatru Samhara Subramanya. He is more of the energy to okay. remove negativity. So, okay. and it need not be external enemies alone, some oh, internal okay. enemies as well. Now, I'm not going to Kamakro, the Mohaloba and all of that. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is definitely our Arishadvaris, our enemies. But some things like lethargy, mm-hmm. uh, procrastination, mm-hmm. maybe your internal enemy which is actually creating a block in your efficiency. You've always postponing, you have a tendency mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. that and things like that. So then uh, doing this actually helps you in becoming more uh, agile, more swift, more uh, quick in your action, more efficient in your actions. Wonderful. Yeah, that is one thing. Health wise also, Subrahmanya Swami is very, very known to bless you with good health. Mm-hmm. Any kind of ailments and health issues, this is a great place to do the puja. And uh, here Subramani Swami is Guru Muruga. Mm. So we say he is in the form of a Guru. Okay. He has the energy of a Guru. Oh. So uh, you know he always guides you uh, in every aspect of life and especially career. Okay. In fact every three months once I visit this temple. Every three months once because uh, each time I visit and come back I have a great transformation in my career. Mm. Believe me, you may think, okay, an astrologer who is just sitting and making videos or doing consultations or getting pujas done, what kind of a transformation can you have? You in have no idea. idea. <laughs> you have no idea. So, I, I think I mentioned in my long conversation with Kritika that we've had uh, like, you know, amazing transformations in terms of uh, multiple sources of income, exploring your true potential, improving your efficiency and all of that. But in this itself, every time it's a new experience. And every time we get to discover or research and get to know about a very ancient temple which has so much powers which we have not tapped so far. Mm. And then I quickly tell my clients, okay, this is a new temple, but it's an ancient temple. Mm. New discovery from us. Mm. And then they do with pujas, they get results. So constant R and D is also going on. Absolutely. Yeah, that's so much more needed. Yeah, and Tirchandur is a place where he has uh, shown the devotees that you know uh, he's just not an idol there. Mm. See when the Dutch invasion happened and they actually uh, took away, they stole the Murti, the Utsa Murti of the temple. Okay. Uh, he made sure there was a cyclone and a storm in the night mm. when they were going back by their ship. And then they got a vision which, which said you know it's only because they're actually stealing something which belongs to the temple, mm-hmm. they are supposed to just put it back in the water. So they actually, they got really scared and they actually put the idol back in the uh, sea and then they went back to their homeland. And then that same night, the Pujari, the chief priest of the temple, uh, dreamt of Subramanya Swami, telling uh, him that, you know, he should go there and find the idol in the middle of the sea. And he was so perplexed and the sea is so huge and so vast, how am, how am I even going, going to find it? Mm-hmm. He said, you just take the fisherman with you and go and I will make sure there's a lemon floating. Oh, and right below that, if they dive in, they'll find me. So mm-hmm. that is how uh, it was rediscovered and then brought back. So that Utsav oh. Murti is still there and you can do Archana and Puja to that as well. So mm-hmm. it's like, uh, it's an amazing uh, and most vibrant place because Subramanya is very fast acting. You know, he, you remember he questioned Brahma uh, about the creation. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he mm-hmm. in fact initiated his own father into Omkara. At the Swami Malai. Mm. So he, he in many ways he is somebody who will not accept an answer just blindly. Right. Yeah, so it's like uh, like Kritika. <laughs> He's always asking questions. <laughs> why this? Why that? <laughs> so I think Subramani Swami mm. is one uh, energy, one everybody should worship, especially if your Mars is weak. Mm. Uh, your Rahu and Ketu are weak. He really controls these uh, planets yes. to some extent. Okay. Although it's Durga who controls Rahu more, mm-hmm. but he still has an influence and impact. So that's why he's the Guru Muruga. Yes. Ah, and, and coming to the Guru Muruga aspect, he also aspects, I mean, in this place, the energy of the Guru, the Brihaspati is also there okay. because he takes the power and position okay. of a Guru. So here it's like uh, Rahu Ketu, 
Guru and Mangal. Oh, amazing.